guys welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my opinion on the best loadout for hardcore. Now, the, this may not be the perfect loadout to get you extremely far, but um, I have, I've pretty much picked the best towers and reasons why. So, I know a lot of people, or maybe not even a lot of people, but I know some people um, think that farm should be left at a hardcore. Now, I don't think a lot of people think that, but I think some people think that. Because I've asked a few people in different servers, and, the, and I feel like it's around, like, I think it's a bit higher than 50% on people who want to have farm in hardcore. But I feel like, especially the people who are newer to hardcore, picked ace pilot, military base, soldier, and electro electroshocker and mini gunner was most people's th things. Or instead of mini gunner, sometimes it was accelerated. But the reason I like farm is because, especially solo, you need the money. So I've chosen farm. As my second tower, I have chosen military base. Now, the reason I like military base is because normal most of these towers in here, um, you can you don't normally get um, for if, uh, at least a little bit. So especially if you're newer or if you forget about the leads, it's just a quick cheap tower that you can place down. Plus, at just level two, I think it can take out all the leads as long as it like. If there's already one spawned on wave 13 and it doesn't die, then sometimes it takes out all the lens. Plus, even if you only get one level two that comes out, then you still only take 90 damage, which is 90 of 100 of your full health. Then, for my third tower, I've selected Ace Pilot. My reasoning is because Ace Pilot, just at level two, can survive you till about wave 10. Which means, if you can place it, get it level 2, then you can just farm. And part of the reason I want you to farm is because the 4th tower, Accelerator. Now, it, I know some people don't have Accelerator. So if you don't have Accelerator, do Minigun. Golden if possible. If you can't do Golden, then do Regular. It's still pretty good and you get a few more down. The reason I like Accelerator more though is because it has lead detection, which means it can help you out with leads. Which comes to my fifth tower. If you want to make it past wave 39, which is where the lead bloom comes out, you're gonna want Electroshocker. Four of those things, max, instantly destroy the leads. Now, this, loadout I have not tried or I have tried it but I didn't like I it was my first try I wasn't I didn't modify it at all because I I like to pick just a bunch of towers like th this was my strategy for hardcore when I started I would pick all the towers that seemed best at the time when I first started I didn't even have farm I think I had military base ace pilot um golden minigunner and um what was the other one i had i think i think i brought dj no i didn't bring dj i brought cowboy and then like militant i want to say it, it was a long time ago i don't remember what i brought but the reasoning for this is because then you can place ace pilot especially on crossroads you can place it right in the middle so it gets them in the whole squarish area and then it'll a level two one will carry you all the way to wave 10 which is when you can farm and then on wave 10 if you can you can get accelerated if you can't just get like two or three military bases level two and then you're good now i would not recommend placing um electroshocker too early unless you're in a really bad panic with the leads because 
by wave 14, um, you should be able to get Accelerator or at least a couple of the military bases. But if you're one of the people who don't have Accelerator and you have Minigunner, then it's your choice on if you want to place um, Electroshocker, because it does do quite a fair amount of damage. Thanks for watching. Bye.